Hello, this is Victor and welcome to the second part of this tutorial uh, where I'm going to finish the work on this fint of Slanish. So, as you remember, the last step I did is to paint pale flesh on, on, so to paint pellet witch flesh on the flesh of this miniature. So now what I'm going to do is I will start working on this purple horns and, and clothes and I will use first a wash of Levithan purple or, or you can use the current one that is Drachi Violet as well. So I will do I will use Drachi Violet as a wash and this is quite straightforward we just apply a wash all over the, the the purple parts. We'll give the color more, more uh, will look more lifeful because this is less greenish, and it will also pop up all the texture on these parts. So nothing um, mysterious. So it's quite straightforward. Just apply the wash all over the parts that you want to apply and let it dry after that for a while. Be sure that you apply a uniform wash all over the part and you don't mm, forget any any part of, of the when you're doing the wash any area because the problem is that it's difficult if you forgot to wash uh, uh, a spot then it will be noticeable after that, even if you apply the wash again. So that's the first step of this part. I will be back once I've applied the wash and it's dry completely all over the miniature. So now that the wash is completely dry, I will start highlighting the horns. So I will use these two colors. I will use Jenna Stiller Purple and the Kala Lilac. We'll start with Jenna Stiller Popper. What I will do first here on the clothes, I will apply this at the edges. I will highlight all the edges. And if you remember what I did before on 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 the nails, I will do the same type of trick. I will do something like that and then leaving lines with a darker color. Here this type of spikes inside I will paint it them with this color the same these ones and then I will do again this edge that and starting from the extreme, I will go to the wash, to the root. Leaving this line darker. So, having this effect. We'll do the same on the other claw. In what I, I will do one of the horns. What I will do on the horns is very similar. So I will start from the, the the top. The top I will paint it in that color. Then here, for example, I will follow this inter this thing here, and I will go so that you have to do the stroke from top to the bottom.
And the wash is helping you also to see a little bit because this horns have a little bit of text of texture. So here and then here you don't you want to avoid that this is thicker this line. So we are going to make it thinner. Okay. We are going to do the same at the bottom, so again we do first the the top part of the horn. Again it's going to be more difficult because of the arm that is in the way. But we are going we will go from here to the base of the horn. Sorry if you cannot see this because it's quite difficult this one to paint in camera. But I'm doing the same as I did on the front. So from the root from the sorry from the extreme to the root of the here as well. We try to make so in that way you have this appearance. Sorry. Okay. So I will do the same in all in the other ones and ah, on the on these small ones this is going to be even faster. So I go stop from here and I will I will do lines down as the same I did on the on the small nails on of the feet. With the greys, I with the browns, but this time I will do it with purples. Okay, so I will I will continue doing all the horns, and then I will be back once I did this part. So now that I finish with the highlights using Gene Stealer purple, I will now I will then start using the Kala Lilac to do a second layer of highlights on on the purple parts. So I will start here with on the claw. Start again from the extreme and I will first do the edge. From here you go to down like that. And then I will do the same. on the top. And the lines that I did before I will make a line with that color. So to have this effect. We'll do also the big the other side. We'll start doing first. here and then okay this is the effect that we, I'm looking for and now this thing here I will do just the extremes and the same on the top ones. So this is how I will leave the claw. See the difference between this one and this one. On the horns we'll do the rest of the claw later on. On the horns, what I will do again as before, I will start from the top and I will go down if it's too much. So from the top, and then some will stop earlier, another will stop later. Try to accumulate more clear color on the top and here just do something like that. You also can do this side for example here. You want you can go from
So this is the effect I'm looking for. Okay, so you get, I think you, you get the idea, you just do these lines leaving zones darker and zones clearer. And the small spikes here at the back of the arm, again start from the extreme and go down like that, this is faster, you don't need to be regular. So you see you have this effect here. So this is all I will keep working on on the different purple parts and I, purple parts and I will be back. Just here, the only thing that yeah, I was forgetting here, the thing I will do because I want to go from to very clear at the extreme, I will blend a little bit with the previous color. Here I want to go from very dark at there and I don't want to do strip lines, I want to make it so here what I will do is I will blend as you can see here and then the extreme I will go very clear This is what I want to do on the tail. So I will keep working on, on all these spikes and I will be back once I finalize with the second highlight. So now I did the highlights with the the color lilac and I was highlighting doing a second highlight a third highlight with white scar and what you do is you apply this, this very at the extremes of the parts that you want to highlight it's a very soft touch look here on the horns and I will do here as well so I thin it a little bit with water you can also do, use medium These small ones it's important that you thin it and just very dex just very soft touch. I also have the color lilac with me because in case I find the white is too much, I mix a little bit with the color lilac and I make another transition especially here in that one so this is the last highlight I will do so I apply white scar in, in the mo in the extreme, extremest part of the, of the the most extreme part of the of the clothes and, and horns. So I will finalize the highlight with white on the back of the clothes and I will be back on the next step. This is how it's looking like and now I will highlight on the armor plates and I will do I will do this part here that we have here. So what I will do here so what I did here before is we did um, the wash all over this part when I was doing the skin wash I put a uh, wash and then I apply also a second wash 
to give a reddish color that was the red wash. And now I will paint them with a screamer pink. And my idea here is I want to do these protuberances here, the appearance of gems, to make it even more unnatural, like real against the biology of of any kind. So I want to give the appearance that this creature is not following the nature of the biology rules. So I paint them all with the screamer spin and then I will use Emperor's Children Pink. With Emperor's Children Pink I will do two things. I will highlight this type of armor plates that are like melted in the skin or part of the skin of, of the of the fiend. So I will follow the edge here in the middle. Remember that this was the original color, but we did a wash camo rock um, right on top. So now I will. I want to go again to the original color by painting by highlighting it. Okay, as you can see here, and then on these protuberances here, I will paint like if I'm doing a gem. So, for example, in that one. I will paint this half, leaving the top darker with the color I did before. So, to do this way. So, I will also do this one. And I will do this one. Here as well. So, and I will do the armor plate, so I will connect for the next step. So now I finalize with the children, Emperor's children, and now I will do a second highlight with full green pink. Yeah, the name is very adequate for this type of demon. So again, I will do edge highlight here okay so I will do armor plate by armor plate I will do this edge highlight and then on the protuberances I will apply this the clear part leaving part of the previous layer okay same in that side And this small one, I will just put that out. So I will do the highlights on the other armor plates and I will be back in a minute. So now the armor plates are completely highlighted and I will consider them done. I will finish only these protuberances that I want to make them look like a small gem. So by applying a dot of white scar. So you apply a dot, as you will do in a gem, on the dark part at the top. Here, here, and here, 
And then on the other side that's all. Okay. And then I will vanish at the end of the mini uh, the painting. So now the miniature is almost done. One of the last things I will do, I will go back to the um, fur and I will uh, use again Bahara blue and I will highlight some of the parts. For example, in that case, I will go to the tail and I will highlight some of the texture, especially here at the middle. Here you need quite a lot of position because you want to keep all the shading that you did with the wash. But by doing that, it will look much more lifeful. You don't need to do this in all the hairs that you have. So just on some of them. And I prefer this technique. I prefer go going like that than the dry brush. For the reason that I consider dry brush, I, I'm not very happy sometimes with the dry brush on, on hair because it's quite messy and I prefer to, to highlight where I want it. So for example in that part here at the front. We'll do the same on the head. I will highlight for example the ones at the middle. Can be that the light is reflecting there. So just on the peak, uh, on some of them, you don't need to highlight all every single hair. Just some of them, and this will give much lifeful finishing. I recommend that what well, the biggest one you you focus more. Okay, and especially the, the the ones that are ready at the extreme, like these ones. That way we give much dimness on the hair. And it's going to be much lifeful. I, I, I prefer this way of doing. So I, I, you get the idea, I will keep highlighting some of the of these hairs. Will take can take some time. Maybe it's maybe it's quite it's more time consuming of course than than doing a, a dry a dry wash a dry brush sorry but I think the result is deserved so I will be back when I start doing finishing these highlights so at this stage I consider the miniature all the paint job is done I think it's good enough. Last thing I will do, and this thing, if you are going to varnish, this in that case is not varnished, but if you are going to varnish, you have to do it as the last stage after varnishing. Because now what I'm going to do is I will apply hard coat. So I will apply bright or gloss varnish. So I will apply on the A. Put too much here the other way okay and then I will also put on this type of gems that I did here Of course, if now you varnish with matte varnish, I will kill this bright. So this has to be done after applying spray of matte varnish. And I think at this stage the miniature is done. So the only last step I like to do is I will paint the edge of the base on dark brown to be uniform with the rest of the army. So, well, this is too much paint here.
Okay, and the miniature is done. So this is the final result. I'm here I'm finalizing the tutorial of this miniature. So uh, now it's ready to go to the battlefield. So this is the final result. Okay. So I hope you find it interesting and useful. Please leave um, your comments and your suggestions. Let me know what you think. It's quite a bright color scheme. So thanks a lot for watching this video and see you again later. Bye!